absolutely it was a success, yeah. Um, I think when we started this journey, a lot of you guys, um, you know, had us, you know, we were too old, you know, based on the team that we filled it. Um, um, probably didn't have a shot at winning our division. Um, but a lot of good things came out of, you know, I think the team that we filled it. Uh, in terms of how we competed this year. I think uh, we gained our fan base back, which to me, from a coaching standpoint, that was the most important thing. Um, and I think we're headed in the right direction um, in terms of some of the accomplishments that, uh, uh, that we made this season. Um, you know, I set the bar high in terms of uh, our team and and expectations were very, very high, uh, and it should be that way. Uh, I've always believed that as a coach. Um, and um, the first thing on our agenda was to, to try to secure a first round at home. And, uh, and the second thing was try to win our division. And, and um, uh, then try to to get out of the East and win an NBA title. That was the ultimate goal. And, you know, we fell short of that this season. Um, but I think we set the table to put ourselves in the best position possible uh, in terms of securing the second seed. And then at one time we were, we were neck and neck with Miami in terms of uh, trying to have the best record in the East. So, I mean, there were a lot of things that I think came out of this season. and. You know, nobody wants to walk away like we did um, and, and losing in, to, in the second round and not getting to the Eastern <clears throat> Conference Finals because we did set the table in terms of the second seed and, and being able to hold second round at home. And, um, you know, I think the first game, you know, that we, we gave away when we gave home court advantage away was the – was the uh, the turning point, uh, you know, in terms of our season because, you know, it's not easy winning on the road and, and we proved we couldn't get it done in that regard. Mike, a lot of the pieces have worked together for the first time. The players talked about being together, having to learn to play with each other. How beneficial will that be going forward now that that won't be the case anymore? Everybody knows their role and knows what it takes to win. Well, again, I mean, I think this was a, a learning curve for all of us. You know, it was a learning curve for me as a coach. Um, uh, you know, the f first time being being able to assemble a team along with ownership and Glenn, uh, you know, we were able to put a solid team together, and uh, this team hadn't been together. Uh, so it was a learning curve along the way for all of us. And, uh, you know, we had a, a lot of injuries along the way, uh, but we never once, you know, made excuses. You know, we just – we mixed and matched, and we – we tried to keep it together. Uh, there were a lot of times we couldn't practice because we just didn't have enough, a full deck to even practice. But we, we, we continued to manage, and, and good things came out of it. So I think the fact that, you know, our core group is still intact, um, and, you know, we got a lot of work to do this off summer in terms of, uh, you know, what direction we go. Um, uh, but I like the direction where we're headed, and um, I just hope our fans stay patient with us uh, and and continue to believe in our team, and and let's see what happens. Glenn, how important is J.R. Smith in this equation in terms of bringing him back to this ball club? Well, J.R. had a great year, and I'm happy for him and happy for our team. You know, I don't think it's appropriate for me to comment on, you know, individual players, whether we're going to bring them back or they're going to be traded or whatever it might be. I think we have to sit back and evaluate our, our situation, where we went right, where we went wrong, what we need to do to get better. I think we'll, you know, turn over every stone that we can, work every angle, be creative, take every opportunity that, it, that exists to, to try and improve this team further. So, you know, I, I'm happy to say that uh, JR had a great year, sixth man of the year. He worked very hard. He deserved that. And I think we're all disappointed in how the season ended, but we're not discouraged. You know, we're very excited about the opportunity here, the team that we've assembled. Obviously, we didn't get to where we wanted to go, but that doesn't mean we're not going to get there. 
Glenn, do you have to get younger as a ball club for next year? Uh, not necessarily, no. I think, you know, we're going to sit back and, and evaluate what, what went right and what went wrong. You know, I think age and experience was a big factor in our success. Obviously, there were some injuries associated with that, which everyone knows is a risk with older players. But uh, our, our older guys were key, but our, 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 the crucial players are our core guys, and they're in their prime.